Are you looking for that girl? That woman who will really, really, I mean really, be your ideal wife? That you can confidently say, Yes, this is the bone of my bone and flesh of my flesh. Do you want to know if she is the woman you will spend the rest of your life with as your wife? Are you thinking that what are those signs that if you see them in her, you will then know that she is the right choice? Are you thinking that if she is going to be submissive, will both of you live happily together? Well, you have come to the right place. In this video, we will go over the 20 signs that if you see, you will know that your girlfriend, if you have one, is wife material. We title this video, 20 signs your girlfriend is wife material. Alright, let's jump into the video. Numbers 15 and 16 are non-negotiable. Number 1. Marry her if she is submissive or has a proclivity to be submissive. That is, if she agrees and accedes to the biblical order that man is the head of the home or family, marry her. She is wife material. She will accept your authority and leadership as the head of the family and as such, accord you your due honors, respect, cooperation, and subordination as the head of the family. We know that any entity that doesn't have a head or that has two heads is a monster and it is God's commandment and order that a family has and maintain one head and that the man should be that head. In the book of Colossians chapter 3 verse 18, the Bible states unequivocally that wives submit to their husbands. It says, wives submit to your own husband as is fitting in the Lord. Continuing in the book of Ephesians chapter 5 verse 23, it says, For the husband is the head of the wife, even as Christ is the head of the church and he is the savior of the body. So if she is submissive or she tends to be submissive, go ahead and marry her. She is wife material. But if she is not submissive and doesn't show the tendencies that she is going to be submissive, don't marry her because she may be up to usurp or expropriate your authority and position and by so doing inverting the divine order which will inadvertently plunge the family into crisis because whenever a divine order is breached crisis becomes inevitable number two marry her she is wife material if she has a motherly heart if she has the kind of heart that every real mother has for the kids and kin if she shows motherly love, kindness, and sacrifice, marry her, she is a good wife material. Number 3. Marry her if she isn't haunty and disdainful. That is, if she respects people and doesn't see herself as being superior and above other people. You can know this by the way she carries herself or treats other people. If she treats people with respect as are deserving of them and their positions, age, an achievement, marry her, she is wife material. Number four, marry her if she is not greedy, she is a good wife material. That is, if she considers other people as deserving of what she seeks as well, and not only her and herself alone for everything. If she believes in equity as contained in the book of Matthew, chapter 7, verse 12, which says, Therefore, you should treat people in the same way that you want people to treat you. This is the law and the prophets. Marry her. Number five, if she is not materialistic, marry her. That is, if her judgment of things is not only based on material gains or on the material things she could grab, if her decisions are not solely based on material gains and benefit but also on other factors such as peace, love, relationship, trust, righteousness, etc. Number 6. Marry her if she is non-competitive and discretionary. If she doesn't do things, only for the purpose of showing off, rather than for the necessity of it. Because one of the purposes of marriage, is to complement, and this can only be possible if all partners, contribute meaningfully, to the growth and success of the marriage, and not for the purpose of ostentatious and show -ins. For the Bible says, talking of the virtuous woman in the book of Proverbs, chapter 31 verse 12. She will do him good and not evil all the days of her life. So if she is not coming for the purpose of doing you good, and adding value to your life, don't marry her. Number 7. Marry her, if she's a listener. 
In Proverbs chapter 12 verse 15, the Bible says, The way of a fool is right in his own eyes, but he that hearkeneth unto counsel is wise. If she shows the will and tendency to be a good listener, and a taker of good advice, marry her. It means that she is wise, because it is wisdom to have a listening ear. And it also means that she is humble and teachable, because it takes humility to listen to advice, and to be teachable. It also shows that she is going to allow sense and sanity, to prevail in the home. Number 8. Marry her, if she is honest, truthful, and trustworthy. That means she is a wife material. But don't marry her if she is a player, a pretender, or, a wanderer. One whose entire life and movements, are buried in secrecy and obscurity. Because in the book of Ephesians chapter 4 verse 25 says, Therefore, putting away lying, speak every man truth with his neighbor, for we are members one of another. So if she doesn't believe or value truth and honesty, don't marry her. Number 9. Marry her, if she is diligent and resourceful. If she doesn't depend on you to provide her with everything, or make every decision for her, even on the minutest thing, marry her. Because two heads are better than one. And a wife material should be resourceful and creative, as the second and the supporting head. If she were to fulfill the scripture that makes her your helpmate. Number 10. Marry her, if she is humble. For the Bible says in the book of 1 Peter chapter 5 from verses 5 to 6. Likewise, ye younger, submit yourselves unto the elder. Yea, all of you be subject one to another, and be clothed with humility, for God resisteth the proud, and giveth grace to the humble. Therefore, humble yourselves under the mighty hand of God, that he may exalt you in due time. So if she is humble or tend to be humble, marry her, because she will bring you God's blessings, lifting and favor. Because God gives grace to the humble. But pride and ego bring conflicts and crisis. So if she is not humble, or she shows the tendency to be proud, don't marry her. Number 11. Marry her if she is supportive. That is, if she believes in you and your dreams and they support your dreams and aspirations. That means she's a wife material. You can marry her. Number 12. Marry her if she is respectful. That is, if she genuinely respects you and others. For the Bible says in 1 Peter chapter 2, verse 17, Honor all men, love the brotherhood, fear God, honor the king. And also the book of Philippians chapter 2, verse 3 says, Let nothing be done through strife or vain glory. But in lowliness of mind, let each esteem other better than themselves. So if she believes and they follow this advice, marry her. It means she's a wife material. And number 13, marry her if she is hospitable. Being hospitable here means if she welcomes your friends, your relatives, your visitors, and those who may genuinely need your help, who or whoever you may want to assist or help without uh, rancor, anger, and the resentment. If she gives her services with a joy, a rancor flee, marry her. That means she's a wife material. But the Bible says, it's speaking on the virtuous woman in Proverbs chapter 31, verse 20, says, She stretched out her hands to the poor. Yea, she reaches forth her hands to the needy. And in Romans chapter 12, verse 13, the Bible says, or commanded us to be distributors. He says, distributing to the necessity of sense, giving to hospitality. And number 14, marry her if you and her have some similarities or some resemblances in values, in belief, or in physiognomy. Over the time, it has been discovered that most couples resemble each other eventually without consciously choosing each other on that basis. It therefore affirms that the scripture is right when it says that uh, each and every one of us has our God-ordained mate. 
because God created everything in twine. In Isaiah chapter 34 verse 15, the Bible says, The air shall the great old make her nest, and the hatch, and the gather under her shadow. The air shall the vultures also be gathered, every one with her mate. So if you share the same values or resemblance with her, marry her, it is a confirmation and affirmation that you may be made for each other. And in the book of Amos chapter 3 verse 3, the Bible says, Can two work together except they be agreed? And then the answer is obviously no. So if there is nowhere that the both of you agree or sustain any form of resemblance, please don't marry her. She is not meant for you. And number 15, marry her if she shows signs that she will enjoy intimacy with you. Sexual intimacy is very crucial for the success or otherwise of any marriage. Even the Bible recognizes and acknowledges this importance in marriage and as such enjoin believers in 1 Corinthians chapter 7 verse 3 to 5. It says, Let the husband render due benevolence to the wife, and the wife to the husband. Verse 4. The wife had no power over her own body, but the husband, and the likewise the husband had no power over his own body, but the wife. And verse 5, it says, Defraud not one another except with their each other's consent for a time, that you may give yourself to fasting and a prayer, and they come together again, lest Satan tempt you for your incontinence. So if she agrees or indicates that she agrees with these scriptures and the shows disposition to abide by it, marry her. She's a wife material. Number 16. Marry her, if she is considerate. That is, if she considers and takes cognizance of other variables, factors, exigencies, and possibilities, in her decisions makings, and demands. If she considers the effects, of her actions or inactions on other people, before taking her actions. If she doesn't insist on having her way, in everything all the time. If she doesn't walk out on you, and unwilling to give ear to reasons, but only wants her request and demands met at all cost. Marry her, she's a good wife material. Number 17, marry her, if she is faithful. Faithful in the context of keeping to her vows and promises at all times, with her words always her bond. Not a player, that is someone who says one thing and meant another, or does another. Not someone after saying one thing at the end, she ended up giving flimsy, fictitious, and non-existing excuses. Number 18, don't marry her if she nags, or she is loquacious. The Bible says, in Proverbs chapter 21 verse 19, It is better to dwell in the wilderness, than with a contentious and an angry woman. So don't marry her, if she is a busybody and a gossip. Number 19, don't marry her, if she is lazy because she is not coming to add to you, but to subtract or reduce you. Every wife's material is meant to be your helpmate. In the book of Genesis chapter 2 from verse 18, the Bible says, And the Lord God said, It is not good that the man should be alone, I will make him a helpmate for him. So if she doesn't show the disposition towards coming to help you, don't marry her, because marriage is meant for mutual help and betterment. Speaking of the virtuous woman in Proverbs chapter 31 verse 15. The Bible says, She riseth also while it is yet night, and giveth meat to her household, and a portion to her maidens. And in verse 13 of Proverbs chapter 31, the Bible says of a virtuous woman, She seeketh wool, and flax, and worketh willingly with her hands. Verse 14 of Proverbs 31 says, she is like the merchant's ships, she bringeth her food from afar. And finally, number 20, don't marry her, if she is improvident, nonchalant, disinterested, apathetic, and insensitive towards the future. Speaking of the virtuous woman in Proverbs chapter 31 verse 16, the Bible says, she considereth a field, and buyeth it, with the fruit of her hands she planteth a vineyard. This is talking about being diligent, 
provident, and futuristic, or investing for the future of the family. Thank you so much for watching our videos. What are your worries? What are those problems? Tell us in the comment section below. Nothing is bigger than our God. We promise to respond immediately with prayers. We would like to give you another interesting video to watch next. But before then, our team will appreciate it if you could like this video, subscribe, and share it with your loved ones and friends on social media. Look at your screen now. You will see a video handpicked for you to enjoy next. God bless you.